Welcome to NBC News Daily, where we start right now with former President Donald Trump. Our supporter, Simo yes. Modi. Thank you so much, Simo. We appreciate it. Well, listen, coming up, some women are turning to alternative birth control methods to avoid taking hormones. We're going to explain the rising interest in what's called the temperature method, and we're going to talk about actually how effective it can be. You're watching NBC News Daily. for an alternative form of birth control. They're turning to a growing online trend. It's called the temperature method, and it doesn't require any drugs or medication. So instead, it has to do with tracking your cycle and listening to natural signs from your body. I just bought my first basal body thermometer for natural family planning and birth control. Let's figure out how this works. And if you're wondering, Rebecca, why don't you just go on the pill? Well, hormonal birth control or any birth control that stops you ovulating at a natural time has huge knock-on effects for your whole health system. I know lots of people have lots of questions, so thankfully here to answer them. Fertility Doctorate RMA of New York, Dr. Lucky Sikon. Lucky, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Lucky. Thank An you appropriate me. name for fertility specialist. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, listen, you know, we've I've heard about the temperature method. I remember going to a wedding once and someone was like, oh my God, when you're ready to have kids, just try the temperature method. I'm like, <laughs> what are they talking about? What is yes. this? So the temperature method is referring to the fact that when we ovulate or release an egg, it is going to be associated with a rise, a very slight rise in your body temperature by about half a degree Fahrenheit. So for someone who has a regular predictable menstrual cycle, if they're actually checking their temperature every day, they can plot that on a, a graph and see a slight rise in their temperature, which signifies when they ovulated. So you can kind of use that information going forward to predict when your next ovulation will happen. And if you're trying to prevent an unplanned pregnancy, you can also utilize that information to understand and when you'd be less likely to get pregnant if you're not on another okay. form of reliable birth control. But I mean, you mentioned the word reliable. How reliable is this? It's not that reliable. The truth of the matter is, is that when you're using these fertility awareness methods and temperature tracking is one of them, up to one in four women will have an unintended pregnancy within the first year of using oh, this wow. method alone without a backup form of contraception. Ooh. So it really relies on a lot of things being done perfectly and consistently. So you have to have a really regular, predictable cycle. You have to be committed to checking your temperature every single day, mm -hmm. first thing when you wake up, and really making sure that you're not having sex or that you're using a backup method if you, you are having intercourse during those unsafe days where you're considered more fertile. Uh, you know, doctor, one thing I do understand, though, is a lot of people are saying they don't want all the side effects of the yeah. hormones, which, which I get, yeah. right, uh, of traditional yeah. birth control. So so if you don't want those, what are your other options? So everyone should talk to their doctor about what their specific side effects are and what their concerns are. And they should be aware that there are so many different types of pills, right? There are pills with lower doses of estrogen, different forms of progesterone that affect your body differently. And outside of the pill, there are many non-hormonal and hormonal alternate forms of contraception like IUD, implant, patch. So you can talk to them about all of your different options. And if you are gonna rely on fertility awareness methods, make sure you're not just doing the temperature tracking. There's a lot of other ways that using it together can be more effective. A conversation we all needed. Thank you so much. Dr. Lucky Sikhan, we appreciate your time and your expertise. And stay with us because later on this hour, we're gonna talk about